Good old early 2000s CGI, very good. Hey everyone, for today's video we're watching Firefly episode 8, Out of Gas. I'm assuming this means that they're going to be out of gas, um, and they're probably going to be stranded either on a planet or in the middle of space. That's what I can gather, and I think there's going to be a lot of crew dynamic that's going to be going on. And that's all I think, really. So I'm pretty excited to see how the crew is going to handle this one. But before we continue, if you are not yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It helps your channel so much, and it does mean a lot to me. And if you like the video, be sure to leave the video a like. And if you want access to my full-length reactions, full-length reviews, and polls in order to uh, vote on what films and shows I'll be doing next, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description as well. So... Let's move on to the video. Are they even on the ship? I don't understand what's happening. You buy this ship, treat her properly. She'll be with you for the rest of your life. What happened? Wait, okay, so they, they crash landed onto a... Oh wait, no, it's a, a flashback. Honestly, sir, I think you got robbed. Robbed? What do you mean? It's a piece of Feu. Feu. Why does she think so? Everyone thinks that about Firefly, though. About fireflies. Yeah, just step around that. I think something must have been living in here. <laughs> Tell you, Zoe, we get a mechanic, get her up and running again, hire a good pilot, maybe a cook, live like real people. I wonder what they lived like before. After the war, of course. No matter how long the arm of the Alliance might get, we'll just get ourselves a little further. Get her running again. Yeah. I wonder what Zoe and Mal did in between the time of the war and the Firefly. Like, what did they do? How did he manage to make the money to buy the Firefly? It looks like he's running out of oxygen or something. Tell me he's not. Oh, uh, no, he's bleeding to death. Never mind. Wait, who hurt him? <laughs> They're laughing. I'm just kidding. It's probably in the past, before everything happened. Because sick people are hilarious. <laughs> Well, they, they can be. I remember this time uh, I was working the ER and uh, this... Uh... It's going to be really depressing. Care to make the first incision, Dr. Tan? <laughs> <gasps> it's his birthday! What month is it? What's his sign? He's a Taurus. Well, deeply move yourself to blow out them candles <laughs> so we can try a slice. Come on, Doc. Give a good blow. Uh, Simon, what'd you do? It just exploded? Is she okay? <gasps> the engine exploded? This is not out of gas. This is... Oh, you're letting, like, the fire out? Okay, that's what she's doing. Good old early 2000s CGI. Very good. I'm not leaving her side, Mal. Don't ask me again. I wasn't asking. I was telling. Chanita. <gasps> no. His wife is hurt to the point where she could be dying. I understand that he's only the he's the only pilot, but shouldn't be a problem at all. <gasps> That's wash. The modification. Oh my gosh, the mustache and the Tommy Bahama shirt. Look, we finally got ourselves a genius mechanic. It's about time we hired someone to fly this damn thing. Genius. No one's ever called me that before. Who are you? That's not, that's not him. No! Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this! I can't, I hate, I hate needles, I hate needles, I hate needles so much, oh my gosh, I hate them so much. So they are out of oxygen. He wasn't just dying, he was running out of oxygen. And they can't have someone save them? They can't just call someone? You're afraid we're going to run out of air, that we'll die gasping. But we won't. That's not going to happen. We'll freeze to death first. Oh my gosh. She's not comforting at all. Oh my goodness, she is not. Wave your arms around. Jump up and down. Divert the nav sass to the transmitter, whatever. Divert the... Right! Well, maybe I should do that then. Maybe you should. Okay, good. Bye! Hey. I'm glad they, they established that. They came up with a plan. Very good. 
Uh, okay, I didn't even realize it was oxygen, but it is. And I, I think everyone's already passed out by this time. Oh no, we're worse dead. They got a part, maybe he'll fix it and get oxygen? I don't know. Supposed to have this engine fixed and that's up in the name of- Ah! Uh, what the? You do realize we've been parked on this rock a week longer than we planned? Yeah. Is he the, is he the engine guy? Get your prairie harpy off my boat and put us back in the air. No can do, Cap. Secondary grab boot shot. No, it ain't. Ain't nothing wrong with your grab boot. It's Kaylee. Oh, it's Kaylee. Honey. Kaylee, this is how we're introduced to you. With this guy, with the tattoos on the... You mean... Sure. For how long? Long as you like. Long as you can keep her in the sky. You offered me a job? So, what if she doesn't get hot off of engines? She was just trying to lure him into the engine room so she can check out the engine. So there's three different timelines we're on in this episode. Sometimes a thing gets broke, can't be fixed. Without this engine don't turn. The engine don't turn. Life support won't function. We don't breathe. You want to keep breathing, don't you? Yes. Yes, very much so. <gasps> He's going to know where to put it in. And she did end up fixing it. Or he got a new one. Oh. No. No, no. We sent both shuttles off in opposite directions. Better the chances of someone getting seen, maybe picked up. He was the one left on the ship. He's sacrificing himself. So he didn't die. Now, well, here she is. <gasps> that first time meeting Anara? You want me on your ship? Because I can bring something that your surveyor or any of the other fish you might have online can't. A certain respectability. I suspect that's something you could use. Ooh. Anara, give it to him. I think the NASA sends both shuttles into the helm here. When your miracle gets here, just pound this button once, it'll call back both shuttles. Go see your wife. Okay, I'm tearing. That's not fair. And I prepped a suit for you. It's hanging in the foredeck. So when the time comes, I won't be needing it. Jane actually did so much for him. I'm surprised. He does care for Mal. That is terrifying. That is so scary to me. Oh, and they look like they look like little ladybugs going off the firefly. That's so cute. That is actually really cute. I would eat as much food as I possibly could. If I were alone on the ship, the first thing I'd do is go to the fridge and eat. Like a lot. So I wouldn't be like bored when I'm dying. <laughs> possible we might have some that could do you we just come from a big salvage mission off by the moon trouble is how can i know for certain your story's true ambush could be waiting for i understand his hesitation especially in this world but isn't he afraid they're gonna take his oxygen can some oxygen flow in oh air oh yes I called it. I knew it was gonna be raiders or something. He doesn't have it, that's why he got shot. That makes sense. Well, it looks can be deceiving. Not as deceiving as a low down, dirty deceiver. <laughs> well said. <laughs> How did they get Jane on board? What would your cup be? 7% straight off the top. We'll see to you get your fair share. Not no sad seven. Jane, I ain't That's a good. Shut up. A bigger room. I wonder how big Jane's room is. It's not that big. You no, know, anything that's worth anything is really right here in this cargo bay. So you take a look around, decide what you think is fair. Already decided. Ah! Why would he do that? This guy's a jerk. We'll get it as far as Billy. Leave the catalyzer. That's how they got into this conundrum. Take your people and go. Is that all he needs? So they board his ship, shoot him, and leave a catalyzer. Out of the goodness of your heart, you should just give him the catalyzer because it's a nothing part, like you said. He would have done the same. No, he wouldn't. We can already see I haven't. Now get the hell off my ship. They really just boarded him just to shoot him. He I would have held off just a little bit longer to steal some more air. I'd be like, just just waft it in. The other hand should be doing some wafting while he's holding the gun with the other. And now we've come full circle. Okay, I see. Okay, okay, he got it. 
But does he know how to put it in? Where's Kaylee? I know she's on the ship, but still. I'm in the little, little. Can he do it? 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 It worked! It's working! Call him back. Right now. And when you call him back, Simon's a doctor. He can help you out. Um. Welcome back, sir. I go someplace? She's so pretty. Zoe's so pretty. I can't stand it. She's gorgeous. Hey, you know, we'd have been back first if there's something wrong with Nara's shuttle. She's done something to it, Mel. Smells funny. I told you that's incense. Smells funny. She did something to it. It smells funny. You can see there's so much attachment between them. If it, even if it's not shown often, you can tell just by the acting and the writing. I'll tell you what, you buy this ship, treat her proper, she'll be with you for the rest of your life. He was saying that about another ship, not the Firefly. But he fell in love with the Firefly. That's really, that was really sweet. That was adorable. So I just finished watching Firefly episode 8 and I, after some thinking, I've established that this episode was strictly, not strictly, but mainly about how Mal was, is extremely dedicated to the Firefly and how dedicated he is as a captain. You know, you can tell that he puts his crew before himself, you know, he makes sure that the crew is safe and off the ship before he gets off. Like I'm sure you guys know with cruise liners or ships overall, any boats, the captain typically I don't know if it's a law or whatever, um, the captain should be the last person on the ship to get off. Um, and he needs, it's his responsibility to make sure the crew and the passengers are safe. And he wanted to stay with the ship. He wanted to make sure his crew was safe. So it was really nice to see Mal's dedication to the ship and his crew in this episode. And it was a serious tearjerker. This episode was so sad. It had a lot of heartfelt moments. It had a lot of really sad moments where you thought that everyone was going to die at different points. But it was really good. It was a really good episode and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.